Welcome back, everybody. A celebrated writer for hit TV shows including MASH, Taxi, Northern Exposure, and Frasier has turned his hand to filmmaking. Cy Rosen's most recent project is a short film called The Matchmaker, starring TV legends Barbara Bain from Mission Impossible and Rhea Perlman from Cheers, along with Robert Romanes from the movie Fast Times at Ridgemont High. The Matchmaker is a comedic enactment of a snapshot in Cy's relationship with his mother. We are so glad you're here, and it's lovely to meet you. I'm glad I'm here. Tell me a little bit about the premise of the movie. It's about you and your mom, but what are the particulars? Well, when my mom was getting up there a little bit, I was worried that maybe she was getting a little Alzheimer's or losing it a little bit. So I wanted to find somebody who was a good match for her, who would mentally stimulate her. Right, so she and could have a friend in a, a relationship friend like and, that. And, yeah, you know, someone she could talk to about, you know, politics and whether George Clooney's marriage will work out. You know, all kinds of... <laughs> the all important kinds, stuff. The important stuff. So I went on this, and, and she found this friend who was played by Barbara Bain from the original Mission Impossible, mm -hmm. who unfortunately had Alzheimer's and kept repeating herself, and I didn't think she would be the right friend for my mother. So I went on this mad search to find somebody who would be an appropriate friend for my mom, and I realized that Barbara Bain, the original, was really the best what afterwards. Is actually that. Yeah. But in the film, you take on this frantic search. You're yes. the matchmaker. We have a clip yes. that we'd like to show everybody. Wonderful. So here we go. Great. Sam started looking for someone his mom could talk to about important, stimulating things. He may have been too picky and got a little crazy, but he was looking for someone for his mom. Agnes over there was very sweet, but he was sure she poisoned her three husbands. Helen was just too dramatic. Oh, damn spot! Ouch! Dee Dee spent too much time on Facebook. Kathleen? Too Irish. Susie cheated at bingo. Edith was a close talker. Sam was about to give up when he met Irene. Oh, 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 oh. I'm so sorry. Come on, come on, okay? come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just don't want to be late for my show. Ugh, soap opera? No, MSNBC. But thanks for the stereotype. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't mean anything. It's, it's all right. I'm just playing with you. I love Rachel Maddow's take on politics. So one of the things that I read yeah. about this film is that you wanted to be, these are like kind of the people who were in the real situation. You yes. wanted to be really respectful about everybody's presentation, yes. except your own. Yes, I was the <laughs> crazy one. You were not one. Yes, yes, about yes. yourself. I was the crazy one, yeah. And so was that fun to write? Yes, it was fun to write, and a lot of the people there were actually, re we shot it at a uh, retirement home, right. and a lot of the people were real people from, from there. Yeah, yeah, so it was great. Residents, That's yeah. so cool. Barbara Bain and Rhea Perlman are obviously huge names. Yes. Um, you got them to be in your movie. How yes. did you approach them and interest them? Well, luckily, uh, Rhea was friends with the director. And uh, so she came aboard, it's kind of like a favor. Barbara Bain, we, we cast, and she's doing short films these days, and she's wonderful. That's I so mean, cool. Yeah, yeah. Is that easier because it's just a shorter I think, schedule? I think it is, and she came to some of the festivals, and uh, she enjoyed herself, Love and that her. was good. Yeah. Okay, so we have also Robert Romanos from Fast Times at Richmond High. Yeah. Blast from the past because we remember him as a kid, and here he is as now, a Bob is a, a friend of mine, so <laughs> I got him to do it, and he was he's great. He's he just is wonderful. Great. He's yeah. always funny. Yeah. Now, I want to read a list of some of the shows that you've worked on. The Bob Newhart Show, Rhoda, Maud, Taxi, MASH, Sanford and Son, Give Me a Break, The Wonder Years, Frasier. I mean, it's just this crazy, wonderful career for decades. How did you get started? Well, first of all, there's a lot of shows I didn't mention. <laughs> <laughs> just want to let you know that. But I got started. I wrote a spec script for the old Bob Newhart Show. Mm -hmm. And uh, back then, you, you didn't need an agent. And I just snuck on the lot, pretended I was a delivery guy, dropped it on their desk, and they read it, and they liked it. And, and they called you? They called me, then they gave me two more script assignments, and then they asked me to be their, story, their head writer, kind of like. Now, you know? okay, how did you know what to write, and how did you get the courage to write it, sneak onto the set, and drop it off? Well, back then, I mean, it was a great lineup. It was the Bob Newhart Show, and All in the Family was on, yeah. and MASH was on. We used to watch it all the time, my wife and I, and so I decided, I, I knew the show. 
I really knew the show. So and you I, said, I can do that. Well, I, if, the first thing I wrote was, was a spec Mary Tyler Moore show. Mm -hmm. And it didn't, I wrote it on like a legal pad. I didn't even know the format. But uh, I sent it in, and the, the story editor there liked it. But he said I was insane. I wrote, so he sent me a script. <laughs> then it was like the Holy Grail, and I, I knew the format. And then I wrote for the Bob Newhart show. And so that was kind of your key. And yeah. tell me about Bob Newhart. Oh, he was really, really nice and uh, really funny. And you didn't have to write for him real jokes. You would give him a line, and then he does a pause, and he gets a laugh. It's funny He's, all he's by great. Itself. Yeah, he's wonderful. How has Hollywood changed for writers over the years? And can young writers do the same thing that you did to try to break in? Well, nowadays, you, you need an agent uh, to, to, uh, to, to break in. And it's a yeah. little harder. But it, I think it was easier for me uh, to break in. And, um, but it's getting a little harder as you're getting older too. I mean, this is Hollywood, where the young would right. eat the old if they weren't afraid of gaining weight. You know. So, uh, <laughs> oh my, but, uh, but, my friend says that 60 yeah. is the new 90 in Hollywood. That, yeah, that, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for coming oh, by. Yeah, we I had encourage a good time. everybody to take a good All look right. at the film, okay. and we appreciate you so much.